my first do would be to ensure that you keep really positive tonality throughout the entirety of a conversation. So even if you get a really hefty objection, you want to say that's absolutely fine and completely see where you're coming from uh, before going on to handle that objection. That's just going to stop the conversation from going sour and it's going to make it much more enjoyable for both you and the prospect. Do make the prospect front and centre of all your conversations. Focus on their role, focus on their goals, their objectives, um, what essentially they could see improvements in, in terms of their process. Only ask how and what questions. This will encourage your prospect to give you more information. It will leave your questions open-ended. My do number two would be to try and help the prospect rather than try and ram your product down their throat. First of all, this is a much more enjoyable uh, way to sell, I find. Uh, it's much nicer trying to help people than trying to uh, be a pushy salesperson. Um, and second of all, it's just much more effective way of selling, I find. Um, you can start asking searching questions to reveal pain, needs, goals, aspirations, things like that. And then you can also uh, deliver value uh, by stating how your product can help. Always listen back to your calls. Um, the amount of times that I've come away from a call thinking it's gone really badly or thinking it's gone really well, uh, and I've missed an absolute golden piece of information from the prospect just because I was too preoccupied in what I wanted to say. Um, I think listening back to the call really uh, promotes active listening, which is obviously a great uh, technique for any salesperson to, to master um, and similarly it really helps with your um, cold calling techniques going forward perhaps if you didn't have a, if you had a call that went really badly or a call that you came away from um, feeling really like you could have done a lot better uh, it's a great way to kind of um, analyze and break down uh, what went wrong and uh, especially if you're listening to other people's calls as well it's great to kind of trade ideas and uh, see what's working for other people make sure you know your product your industry and your competitors like the back of your hand so in, in sales there are loads and loads of things which you can't control but your knowledge of those three things are something you definitely can control um, and if you really tighten up on them and you know them really well, you're going to give yourself a lot more confidence going into conversations uh, and you're also going to sound a lot more professional, which is going to uh, result in a higher conversion rate for you. Don't ask why questions. They sound accusatory uh, unless you set that prospect up to really sort of fall into your trap and agree with you. Uh, but even then, it's sort of a bit risky. Don't plan a script. I, I did this in my early days as a salesperson and as soon as the conversation deviates from that script you're going to get you're going to feel lost and you're not going to know what to say uh, it's much better to have key topics you want to cover and key topics you want to get out of the conversation um, and then you can just refer to those topics at various points but it just allows the conversation uh, to be much more conversational and it makes you come across less robotic and more human so i think the biggest cold calling don't is what i did when i first started which is to get through to someone and just go off on you know, the most salesy pitch ever, which always entails kind of every single value add that you could ever provide with your products. Um, but obviously what you need to do is, you know, understand like, who you're talking to, what authority level they are, understand the basis of the industries they target and what kind of company they work in. Um, and then just ask them loads of questions so that you can figure out the pain and then you can dive into your solution rather than offering up um, things that could really not be relevant to them at all. Don't oversell. So once you've figured out their needs, their pain, their goals, their aspirations, and you know how you can deliver value, deliver that value and then stop talking to uh, get their view and their perspective on what you've said. The minute you start rambling on and trying to oversell, it's gonna push the prospect away and it's gonna make you sound super salesy. Don't um, ask the prospect if that's them when you call them. Just assume it is. If the person isn't the right person, they'll quickly let you know that they aren't. Um, and. Uh, if they are, then it will sound much more natural, more friendly, and it will feel less salesy in your kind of practical.